The two fatal crashes miles apart over the weekend and law enforcement say it's a sad trend that is continuing as drivers keep pushing speed limits on highways. Now this has led to growing concern about law enforcement across the state. Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Crisp explains what police are seeing and how they're working to crack down on speed. You see a couple cars surrounded by motorcycles flying down 70. A Columbus police officer tries to catch up, but soon realizes. Group of racers, on 148 plus. It's too dangerous. And what we're getting is we're getting some very high uh, speeds for both uh, enforcement and we're getting a lot more uh, injury crashes where people are getting hurt. According to Columbus police, the number of major crashes and fatal crashes has steadily increased every year. Guy making four lane changes at 86 miles an hour to get off the Morse Road exit. That's uncalled for. That's how accidents happen. Columbus police officer Robert Barrett says speeds have taken off during the pandemic and he worries with higher speeds on the freeways, more fatal crashes will happen. Pre-pandemic, I was usually running across 100 mile an hour speed maybe once every three months. A lot of the speeds that we were seeing are slightly above the speed limit. Nowadays, I'm hitting 100 mile an hour speeds uh, almost on a weekly basis. He took us to Easton where he says speeding, even in the middle of the day, has become a major problem. 98? 98, yeah. See what I'm talking about? Wow. See how easy it is? You've been doing this for you've been doing this for five minutes and it didn't take much longer for us to spot drivers exceeding 100 miles per hour 106 on the motorcycle and it's not just here in Columbus the Ohio State Highway Patrol has warned about speeds and the risk for fatal accidents they track the amount of fatal accidents for the entire state so far this year, there have been 1,153 fatal accidents statewide, with about a third of those speed-related, as compared to about 1,068 last year. You do that kind of speed, you're going to kill yourself or kill somebody else. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine recently awarded $23 million to go towards statewide initiatives to improve traffic safety. In total, more than 170 grants were awarded to 132 local agencies and to 10 agencies for statewide programming.